Apes Mathematics Review, starting with number 33. So um, we're going to do some LD50 calculations. And so the first one is for acetaminophen, which is Tylenol. How many milligrams of acetaminophen would be the LD50 for a 60 kilogram or 132 pound adult? So we're going to take um, this number, well, sorry, this number here, 2404 milligrams per kilogram and we're going to multiply it by the uh, how much the person weighs, the adult weighs. And then we know that our kilograms cancel out and we're going to get how many milligrams would kill 50% um, of people with that weight. And so we're going to go ahead and do our math off to the side. Remember no calculators. And when we do this math we end up with 144,240 milligrams. That's kind of a lot. Well, how many pills is that? A typical Tylenol is 500 milligrams. So we'll take that 144,240 and we'll divide by 500. And our milligrams will cancel out at this point. And when I go ahead and do this long division problem, um, my answer is going to be 288.8. And I'm just going to go ahead and round up. Um, so because 288 tablets is not quite enough to kill um, half the 60 kilogram adults, um, oh, this is tablets. But 289 is enough to kill half the adults that weigh 60 kilograms. So that's the minimum number of whole tablets there. So that's why we round up. The LD50 for aspirin is 200 milligrams per kilogram. So this one is actually much more deadly. And so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do 200 milligrams per kilogram times 10 kilogram for this child and my kilograms cancel and it's going to be 2,000 milligrams would kill um, half the children weighing 10 kilograms and now per 500 milligram tablet so one tablet is 500 milligrams and we want to um, multiply that like this and so when we cross this out we get the problem that we set up before so 500 goes into 2000 and our milligrams cancel out so this that's not a lot. Um, that's four aspirins to kill a toddler. So that's a reason why um, if you're around little kids or when you have children someday, you need to absolutely make sure your medicines are locked up because kids, they will just, they're unexpected sometimes what they do. Okay, the next one is a graph and it's just some practice here on um, finding LD50. And so to find LD50, which is number 35, um, we are going to draw the line from 50%. So the number of dead rats here, the total number, our highest number for dead, is up here at 50. And so half of 50 is 25. So I'm going to draw a line over from the 25 until it hits the LD50 curve. And then I'm going to drop it down. And so to me, that number looks like about 2.7. So I'm going to go ahead and claim it at 2.7 milligrams per kilogram. Now on the AP test, they will have an acceptable range. So when the graders are there, they will have some acceptable number, like the acceptable range might be 2.6 to 2.8. 
but you do not write a range. Just realize that there is an acceptable range. You actually go ahead and write a firm number. And the next problem asks, what is the threshold on the graph? So the threshold is the point when deaths begin with dose. So up to this point, there's a tolerance of the drug. And so the threshold is an actual number. It is 2.5 milligrams per kilogram. I'm sorry, that's not a 2. That's a 1. So it's 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. Again, it is not a range. It's an actual number. It's the number here, and after that number, you have deaths begin with dose. And just a couple of other reminders, this curve is called the dose-response curve. So just remember that term as well. And that's how you do LD50.